Hi there, welcome to Two Birds. I'm Fiona and welcome back if you've practiced with me before. Today's class is a 45 minute slow, strong heat building class focusing on building strength in your upper and your lower body in equal parts. And the only prop that you might like is a block uh, and it's optional. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for joining. Namaste. And begin your practice in your comfortable seat, either kneeling at the back of your mat or make your way into a cross-legged seat if you need to accommodate any sensitivity in your knees. Let's take the next few moments to settle in using any props that you'd like. Bringing your spine upright. And letting your shoulders relax down. We're going to begin practice by establishing a slow, steady breath tempo. And in this practice, we'll breathe an equal part inhale and equal part exhale. So we'll find a sustainable breath count that feels even and smooth without any over effort. And when you're ready, just shutting down your eyes. And exhale all the air out of your lungs. Breathing in. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Continue on. And you can extend or shorten your breath count so you can establish a cadence that feels easeful. And following the pathway and count of your breath with your full attention and giving your breath full access. Taking three more complete breaths. And at the end of your out breath, gently dropping your head toward your heart, softly opening your eyes, and then just go ahead, settle your fingers down by your side, and we'll begin to move and breathe with some fluid shoulder and side body openers. Breathing in, circle your arms overhead, palms touch. Breathing out, hands through your heart centre, interlace your fingers, then just press the palms forward, dome your spine. Inhale, arms up over here, growing long through the sides of your waist. Exhale, hands behind the back and interweave your fingers, staying upright, breathing in. Exhale and fold forward any amount on the wave of your breath. Breathing in, keep your hands interlaced, lifting the torso. Exhale, hands inside out, press your palms down toward the floor. Releasing your hands now, fingertips back by your sides. On your inhale, reach your right arm up toward the ceiling. Exhale, take a side bend to your left. Slide the left hand out to your left and just pause for a few breaths. Even and equal, steady and easeful. Now taking your right arm forward Trace the horizon line, sweep it over to your right, left arm up and over, pause and breathe. And 
And now just flow slow, one movement, one breath, side to side. If you're kneeling here as you roam over to your left, option to raise the hips and extend your right leg out straight. And then just flow over to the opposite side. And coming back through centre, place your hands behind you now. And if it's accessible, lean back into your hands, raise the knees, letting the tops of your feet extend. On your exhale, knees down, make your way onto all fours here. And as you set yourself up, hands are under the shoulders, but dial your fingers out wide, so you're pointing them to the side edges of your mat. And then just softly sway with your breath, left and right warming the wrists and you can explore turning your fingers back a little further if it's available to you and turning the hands forward now hands under the shoulders knees under your hips we'll take three rounds of cat and cow just letting your breath guide your movement, even and equal breath in, and steady same breath out, waking up the bones of your spine, and we're also just establishing cadence and tempo for your practice. When you're ready, easing your way into your first downward facing dog, we'll take a few breaths here. And pressing the floor down and away with your hands and your feet. Invite your neck to relax and keeping a soft micro bend in the knees, let your hips sway. And let your heels stretch out. Focus breath, taking three more cycles of breath. And on your inhale, look forward. End of your exhale, walk your feet all the way up to your hands. Inhale, take a halfway lift and just pause here, a little light bend in the knees. Stretch the center of your chest forward, opening your throat. On your exhale, fold in. Come all the way to stand, breathing in. And exhale, hands to prayer at your heart center. Toe heel, your feet together, big toes to touch. And we'll flow through two rounds, Surya Namaskar A, slow motion, steady breath. Breathing in, circle the arms overhead, eyes up, spot your thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, take your halfway lift. Breathe out, hands down, stepping back, high push up, pause here. Gaze forward, thighs strong, deep breath in, exhale lower, chest to your hands, onto your belly, gently peel up, cobra pose, keep it low, and exhale, downward facing dog. Three smooth cycles of breath. And taking one more deep breath into the body. End of your out breath, walk or hop to the top edge of your mat. Lengthening halfway up, breathing in, thighs strong. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Rise with your breath, arms sweep overhead. 
Exhale, Samasitihi, hands to prayer, finding your even, equal footing. One more round, Surya Namaskar A, float the arms over here, gaze up. Breathing out, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathing in. Place the hands down, step back, plank. Breathe in. Exhale, Chaturanga to the floor. Bhujangasan Cobra Pose. Bring the ribs forward, lifting the chest. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Pressing the front of your thighs back and dropping anchors into all the base knuckles of your fingers. Long breath in, steady breath out. And taking one more deep breath in, looking forward. Empty the lungs, exhale, bend the knees, step or hop forward, top edge of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And fold. Rise tall to stand, strong legs. Push the floor away. Exhale, hands to your heart centre. Flowing slow and steady now. Bend the knees into chair pose. Here for three breaths. Drop your hips. And try and stay tall and full through your low back. Abdominals engaged. Sink down just a little lower. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Pause, breathe in. Exhale, lower to your belly. Stay low, keep your pace slow, Bhujangasana, back bend. Exhale, push back, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Linger here, we've got five deep, complete breaths. Push through both your hands so your weight feels equal and equal, uh, even. And you're inviting both heels to soften symmetrically toward the floor. Next breath in, raise your right leg up and back to the height of your hips, toes flex toward the floor. And then on your exhale, shift forward to a three-point plank, point your right toes. If you're still working on your core upper body strength, pause here. If you're feeling strong, on your exhale, low push-up, hover, push back up high push-up. And we'll all join in, down dog splits, right leg lifting. Breathe in, exhale, step the right foot forward to your hands for low lunge, left knee softly down, stay low here, fingertips framing your right foot, or climb your hands onto your front thigh there, just pause, three deep cycles of breath. Transitioning now into the half splits, shifting your hips back, extending your right leg straight, toes flare back toward your face. Steady breath, your long breath in, steady equal breath out. Roll forward, back to your lunge. And on your exhale, just stepping quietly back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Left side now, modifying the flow to suit your strength, raising your left leg up and back. Equal pressure into your hands, hips level. On your exhale, point the left toes, shift forward, high push-up. 
three point plank, breathe in, exhale low push up, inhale high push up, down dog splits, take a breath in and exhale left foot forward low lunge, taking your unhurried equal breath with you, pause here, find a shape that affords you the space to breathe a complete breath. On your exhale, Ardha Hanuman, half splits, drifting your hips back, engaging your left quads, pushing out through the balls of your left toes. Making those subtle deeper adjustments on your exhales, left hip drawing back, centre of your chest forward and down, just making contact with your breath. Roll forward and step back through a vinyasa now. High push up, low push up, back bend of your choice, scooping your chest through the arms, downward facing dog. Letting your arms reach and extend, creating more space through your torso, your spine, your side waist. One more deep breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, step or float to the top edge of your mat. Ground the feet, take a halfway lift. Exhale and forward fold. Rise to stand, arms reach wide and tall. Breathing out, hands to prayer at your heart, Tadasan. And we'll stay with this tempo, adding on now. Bend the knees, chair pose. Sink the hips as you breathe out and stay for two more breaths. On your exhale, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasan, breathing in. Exhale, vinyasa, slow, steady movement to match your breath, high to low push-up, back bend of your choice, and downward facing dog, take five complete breaths. Keeping the muscles in your jaw and your face relaxed. Next breath in. Raise your right leg up and back. Exhale, shift forward to your three-point plank. Push the floor away. Inhale here. Exhale, low push-up. Inhale, high push-up. Down dog splits. Right leg reaching, breathe in, exhale, right foot forward to high lunge now, slow motion, rising upright, reaching the arms skywards, and just settle in, we'll take five cycles of breath, and you might like to explore activating your left buttocks with a soft bend in your left knee. And then just keep that engagement as you encourage your left leg to straighten. Check in with your breath, keeping it smooth and steady. Pressing your palms, lower your hands to your heart center, preparing to twist. Hinging forward here and on your exhale, you're twisting to your right. You can modify here with your left hand to the floor, right hand to the sky, if you feel like the shape compromises your breathing pattern. Stay steady. Left thigh strong, lifting up in space. 
Breathe in here. Exhale, release and stepping back, downward facing dog. And shifting over to the left side now, emphasizing your steady breath, left leg rising on your inhale. Exhale, shift forward, three point plank. Breathe in. Exhale, low push up, high push up, down dog splits, left leg rising. And left foot forward, coming into your high lunge. Arms rise toward the ceiling. And your breath full and deep, equal and steady. Pressing your palms, lower your hands to your heart center, breathing in, exhale, hinge forward and twist now to your left. You can hook your elbow or take your hand to the floor. You're just exploring a deeper rotation with your out breaths. If you're in that reverse prayer, your thumbs move toward your heart center. Try and stay grounded, aware of your feet, the orientation of your pelvis and the line of your spine. Breathing in. Exhale, eyes down, hands down, flow through your vinyasa. Or just step quietly back, downward facing dog if you need to do less. And we'll all meet up there. Here for a few even, equal breaths. And letting your jaw unhinge. And just spread your upper back by turning your armpits toward the floor. You'll make more space around the back of your ribs, the shoulder blades. Take a deep breath in, look forward between your hands, end of your exhale, floating forward. Toes step together, take your halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Rise slow to stand, reach tall. Exhale, Tadasan, hands to your heart center, just take a moment of stillness, pause, feel your body and breath settle. And on your inhale, coming into chair pose, stay for your exhale, motion your hips back and we'll just flow slow here, breathing in. On your exhale, float your arms back, torso forward. And twice more in slow motion, arms reach, knees stay bent. Exhale, arms float back. Once more, breathe in. And breathe out. Return to chair, breathing in. Exhale, prayer hands to your heart, preparing to balance, transfer your weight into your right foot and then you're going to raise and bend your left knee, left heel toward your buttocks, coming into flamingo. We'll just pause here, five breaths, keep a steady gaze. And transitioning into swan pose now, keep a little bend in your right standing leg and similar to warrior three, extend your left leg back straight, bring your chest forward and balance here. And try and lift the front of your shoulder heads lightly up away from the floor. 
find a mild curve through your spine. Three more breaths. Hold steady. And moving into revolved half moon. Left fingertips to the floor or a block, rotating your torso to the right. Right hand to the sky. An option to keep the eyes down there or move them up, not here for long. Left thigh engaged, left toes flexed. Stay with me, breathe in. Exhale, right hand down, release to a runner's lunge. Left foot steps back and just pause here, find your feet, connect with your breath. And then step back through your vinyasa, right foot steps back. Lower through Chaturanga, Upward Facing Dog, and Downward Facing Dog. Five smooth cycles of breath. There's a little intermission coming up, so you can catch your breath, slow it down, keep it smooth. Raising your right leg up and back. And now step forward to a runner's lunge. And from here we'll come to a seat. So if it's available to you, you can shoot the duck, send your left leg forward and come to sit. Setting up for Janu Shirsasana. Taking your right foot to your inner upper left thigh. And sitting evenly on your sit bones, raise the arms, breathing in. And exhale, folding forward over the midline of your left leg. Hands can land at either side of the left leg or catch your foot. Just utilising this shape as a way of cooling and calming the body, settling your breath. And one more breath in here. On your exhale, we release, return to downward facing dog. Any route you'd like to take to make your way back there. Obviously, there's optional vinyasa. And we'll all meet up in Adamukha Svanasana. Moving over to the second side. Deep breath in, looking forward. And then at the end of your exhale, make your way to the top edge of the man. Bring the toes together, halfway lift. Fold. Rise tall on the wave of your breath. Tadasan. Take an extra cycle of breath, calm its rhythm. Chair pose as you breathe in, stay for your exhale, and we'll just flow, inhale here, exhale, flow the arms back, torso forward, twice more, and if you have an audible exhale you'd like to let out, you can do that as your chest comes forward. Weight in your heels. Returning to your chair pose, press your palms, lower your hands to your heart. Balancing now on your left foot, raise your right heel to your right buttocks. Both knees stay bent, the knees squeeze together and your left hips hugging in here toward the midline. Keep your steady breath, transitioning into swan, extending forward and back equally. Managing your steadiness around the center of gravity. So just swallowing your belly in and up. Staying patient with your balance. And transitioning into revolved half moon. Right fingertips to the floor or a block, left hand to the sky. 
and try to avoid your right leg feeling soggy here. So you're energetically reaching out to the edge of your right heel, flexing your toes. And release, left hand to the floor, land in your runner's lunge, pause. And when you're ready, stepping back through your vinyasa. And downward facing dog. Long and strong through your arms, weight into the knuckles of your fingers, pushing the floor away. Keep that equal pressure, raising your left leg up and back now, breathing in, exhaling, stepping up for your runner's lunge to transition. Right foot steps through and come to a seat. Janu Sasna, this time on the right side, folding your left knee. When you're ready, take your time, inhale, arms rise. And exhale, forward fold, just letting your torso make a shadow over the right leg as you fold. Keeping the line of your back body extending, front of your spine, chest and collarbones wide and receptive. And gently releasing and any way you'd like to get there, making your way back to downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, try and keep your head really heavy, your neck relaxed here. So you're gazing back rather than forward. We're just going to take a push up in your downward facing dog, bending the elbows out wide, lower your head toward the floor, and then just push back up. And we've got five more, so you can bend a little through the elbows or deeply. Just try and regulate your breath with your effort. Exhaling as you bend the elbows, inhaling to straighten your arms. And then as you push back up straight, take your knees to the floor and we'll take the heat out of the wrists. We'll come onto our forearms. So placing your forearms down, shoulder distance apart, stepping out into a forearm plank. So bringing your body parallel with the floor and you can modify here with the knees to the floor. Particularly if you're wavering and thinking about pausing me. <laughs> Stay with me, here to hold, pushing through your inner forearms, your thighs are strong, and think about trying to wrap the side waist muscles toward the center of your torso, so you collect and activate your abdominal core, just here for one more smooth breath, and then walk your feet toward your hands, raise your seat, and come into a V shape through your body on your forearms just here for a few more cycles of breath. So really try and push the floor away with your forearms. A little bend in the knees if it makes it more available to you. There's a rest coming up. And release, take your knees to the floor. We'll take a brief pause in your version of child's pose buttocks to the heels and if you like here you can press your palms take your prayer hands to the nape of your neck and then walking your elbows forward just to release through the undercarriage of your arms just calming the pace and rhythm of your breath releasing your shoulders And then releasing the arms, 
Hands forward and making your way into downward facing dog when you're ready. So last little push of effort now before we cool down, you've got this. <laughs> Stay with me. One last gift for your obliques and upper body. So from your downward facing dog, raise the right leg up and back. And bend your right knee, open your hip. So squeezing your right heel toward your left buttocks. And just adjust and equalize across your shoulders. So you feel level. Just pushing the floor away. Maybe taking the left heel down toward the floor a little bit more. Now take your bent right knee across and under your torso to the left like a cross-legged lunge in the air. Strongly push the floor away with your hands. Gently turn your pelvis to the left. And you can stay here. Or final cha challenge, if you're feeling strong, go ahead and balance on your right hand, your left foot, and kick your right leg through and hover it. Left hand to the sky, just got two more breaths, really lift up through the right side waist. Eyes down, take your left hand down, step back to a three-point plank, your right leg's going to hover here. And if you'd like to keep moving, roll through a vinyasa or just step back, downward facing dog, and we'll all meet up there. Here to rest, five deep cycles of breath, and then final side. Raising the left leg up and back now on your in-breath. Slowly bend and open your hip. So try and point the left knee up toward your ceiling to feel for an opening through the front of your left thigh. And now keep that shape in your left leg. Slowly come into your cross-legged lunge. Squeezing your left knee up toward your right elbow. Just do your best here, either stay here or add on, rotate a little deeper, balance on your left hand, your right foot and extend the left leg out to the right. Keep lifting the left side waist. We've got one more breath. And exhale as you release, come back to a three point plank, left foot hovering. Two hands down, vinyasa here, or downward facing dog. And we'll slow it down now, just taking the knees to the floor. And you can rest kneeling or unravel into a comfortable seat. And we'll calm it down, release the shoulders. When you're ready, big breath in, raise the arms. On your exhale, cactus the arms. Breathe in here. Exhale, eagle arms, right arm over the top of your left arm, either holding opposite shoulders or Wrap and press your palms. Projecting your forearms forward so you get that nice feeling of openness in your upper back, soft energy around the back of your neck. And then just opposite side, open, unravel the arms, cactus arms. And then left arm on top, right arm under. And just see if you can raise your elbows just a little so you gaze softly where the elbows cross. And if you can, relax a little deeper through the lower body. And releasing the arms, cactus arms, nice and wide. And then take the hands forward to the floor 
and we're going to make our way down onto our bellies. We'll set up for locust pose or a back bend of your choice. So as you come down onto your belly, just notice what will feel good in your spine. So it could be a sphinx pose on your forearms or something more energetic, upward facing bow, upward dog. Or meet me here in the middle with locust, arms alongside your body, legs engaged. Breathing in, lift your chest, your arms, legs and stay for a few breaths. So you can feel the whole back seam of your body engaged. And try to avoid your low back feeling abrupt here by just regulating how deep you lift. And then we're just going to release. We take our forearms forward, make a pillow. Let your head rest down onto the pillow of your hands and then bend your knees behind you. And then just sway your feet side to side, release and relax through the low back. And just one more round here, your choice. If you're following me and if it's accessible, you can interlace your fingers behind your back. Second locust. On your in-breath, lifting, drawing the fists back, sending the toes back. Keep breathing, feel your ribs move as you breathe. And release, release your hands. We're going to push back into a child's pose here. This time just letting your arms wind back toward your feet, letting go of all your effort in your upper body. And then just slowly peeling up and we'll come into a mermaid lateral stretch. So if you're kneeling there, just drop your hips over to the left from a kneeling position, feet to the right. Or alternatively, you can do this comfortably cross-legged or legs out in front of you. Right hand to your ankle and left arm up and overhead, over to your right. Pause and lengthen all the way down the left side of your body. And then up and over to your right now, readjusting your hips and your feet. Side bend to your left. And then coming back to centre, we'll unravel legs now and bring your legs toward the front of your mat. Two straight legs, Paschimottanasana, final forward fold here. Take a big breath in, reach the arms. And gentle fold over the legs. And then just slowly peeling up and resting back now in Shavasana for your last few minutes here or taking a comfortable cross-legged seat, completing your practice in seated meditation. If you're laying down, let your feet fall wide. Place your upturned hands a little away from your body there. And align the bones of your spine all the way down your spine. So the central channel of your body is even. Your hips and your shoulders feel equal, spreading away from that central channel. And wherever you're at, just gently softening your eyes. And slowing the rhythm of your breath. Letting go of any control or influence over your breath now. And 
feel the back of your body melting into the support beneath you. The front of your body receding back. And then very gently start to land your attention back in your body. Bring some movement to your fingers, to your toes. Bend the knees. If you're laying back, place the feet on the floor. And then gently roll out to your right side. Just pause for a moment. Notice how you feel at the end of your practice. And letting your eyes gently blink open. Welcome the light. And dragging yourself all the way back up to sit. And thank you for joining me on your mat today. I hope you enjoy class. Stay safe, stay well. Namaste.